Hello, everybody. Hello again. Okay, so I'm coming on um, today to do a little nail tutorial. Um, as you can see, I have already um, prepped my nails. Um, it's very important, you know, to let them have some time um, to breathe, you know, without anything on them. Um, so I took my um, strips off Friday, Friday or Saturday. Um, let them breathe over the weekend and um, now I'm ready to put them back on. I have just about back-to-back -back meetings today. Uh, so I've got like an hour to do my nails, but I really want them done. Uh, so thankfully I use Color Street, so it's only going to take a few minutes. So let's get into it. Ready? Okay. So I have all of my stuff here. Um, I have my scissors, which you don't have to have, but I just uh, makes things easier. Um, my pack of nails, I am doing the plaid reputation, which I am so in love with. I can't wait to do this set. Um, then I have a couple cuticle sticks. So this is just that classic like wooden one. And then this is the, like the rubbery kind, but it's also got a little bit of a, um, sharper point there on the end. And then I have my nail file in case I need that. So I just like to have everything, um, you know, here ready to go, uh, before I actually start. I also have a, um, paper towel down here to keep things neat and tidy. Cause I can, <laughs> I can tend to be a messy person. So some people might not have that problem, but I do. So Anyway, okay, so let's get into it. So you can just open up your pack. And I discovered something the other day that I did not know before. So you open up your pack like that, and then you can pull these sides open too. And I'm going to try, it's kind of hard to do this with a camera in my face. I'm gonna try and make sure that I'm keeping everything in focus and where you can see it and all that. So. Hopefully I can do that. So, but anyway, this uh, opens up, look at that. And then you've got used all your um, supplies as well as instructions. Like how awesome is that? So we can learn new things, it's so great. Okay, anyway, so you've got your nail prep pad, your, um, <laughs> my, mine just like totally went blank. Um, this <laughs> uh, nail file oh my goodness okay uh, and the strips okay so i'm gonna set that aside so in the package uh well i'll get into that in one I'll, I'll do this first okay so to start with nail strip pad nail prep pad excuse me so open that up now like i said i've already um prepared my nails. I, um, trimmed them, filed them, um, did my cuticles, all that. I've already done all that. Um, and let me just say it, like, I don't know about you guys, but it just makes me feel so good when I take care of my nails. Like even before I put on any polish or, you know, strips or, or anything, it just like, it just feels good. <laughs> have my nails like contained anyway uh so you take out the uh, prep pad and just wipe your nails and this gets off any excess oils or um debris anything that might be on your nails before application uh, it's also very important and i um have done a couple um live uh applications for people um and i notice the the big thing that everybody seems to want to do before doing their nails is put on lotion so that's a big no-no with this so you want to make sure that um you don't put on any lotion on your hands um at least 30 minutes before doing your nail application um and 30 minutes after to give them time to fully set and everything before you um put on your, um, lotion. Uh, so that's really going to help 
with the application and, and making sure that they um, adhere well and everything. So uh, I also like to kind of um, pat my um, the pads of my fingers because that's what's going to be touching everything. And then I just stick this back in here in case I need it later and just do that. And that'll stay good for a little bit. Stay moist. Oh, and I just hit the camera. See, you know, people make this look so easy. It is not that easy to do things with a camera in your face. Um, okay, so this is what I like the scissors for. I just, it does have a little thing there that you can pull. I just think it's easier with the scissors. So in the pack, it's a little airtight, there we go. In the pack you get two sets of strips. So depending on your nail links, uh, you could actually do um, both hands with just one strip, um, depending on your nail length. Now mine are really short now. Um, so I can probably do all 10 of my fingernails with just this strip, just by cutting each strip in half, um, doing, you know, half on that thumb, half on that thumb, right? Okay, so with that, what you're um, first gonna wanna do is um, check the sizing. So pick out the size nails, the size strips for each nail. So like this one, I know I have big thumbnails. So the um, uh, biggest strip here is what I use for my thumbs. But you can just play with it a little bit and see, okay, yep, that looks about right. And then I like to line them up in order. And this is just how I kind of stay organized. <laughs> because uh, you know we all we all have to have our systems and anything um so but again you just go through and say okay yep that should uh make sure i'm in focus here so you just kind of check it out see all right yeah that looks good and you can also again uh look this way seeing about yeah okay uh I've got, you know, my nails, I could do both sides with just the one strip, right? There's, there's enough room there. Um, so. Yeah, there, looks good. Yeah, looks good. And, yep, I think that should be good. And some of them, if you notice, some of them are shaped slightly differently on each side. Um, some of them are not, like this one. Uh, you know, looks looks the same on both sides. Uh, but this one, like this end is a little bit um, more narrow than this end. And that'll be um, more obvious once I take off this little strip here, but, uh, so, okay. So I've got all these and I just like to put these back in here. Okay, so again, I just like to put the, the extras back in there so they're not here in my way. And then you always want to start with your pinky and work up to your thumb, uh, just in case you need to do anything. You know, your thumbs are kind of like your working fingers, right? So you want those free to um, do anything if by any chance you need to during the application. So again, I'm going to show you how I do um short nail applications, which is different, a little bit different than how I do application when my nails are long, um, which I already have a video um, up on um, application on my nails as 
there longer. Uh, so I wanted to do another one now that I've cut them down um, to kind of show you how, how it, I do it when they're short. So you've got two layers, or excuse me, three layers, really. So you've got this little purple layer here. So that's kind of the top um, protective sheet there. Remove that. And then this silver layer is your actual nail strip. And then the white is the backing to keep it all nice and contained there. So what I like to do is again with my scissors is just cut it in half. And about, looks good. And then peel off. So you see, you got the backing there, and then that's the strip. And you try to touch the back, the sticky part of the strip, as little as possible. Obviously, like with any sticky thing. And then you just want to line it up. I'm try and get in focus here. Um, line it up where it is just above your cuticle line. So you want to make sure it's not on your cuticle. That's the biggest thing. It's like make sure it's not on actually on your cuticle because otherwise it's not really going to adhere at the very edge and it's going to start um, kind of crinkling up. So you don't want that. So then you just press it down a little bit with your finger. And then I like to take my rubber cuticle stick. You can use this one too. <laughs> This one's just a little softer, so I like to use, use this one. And you just go around the edges and push down. Making sure it's really nice and adhered to the nail, especially on the edges, but also making sure um, to push out any air bubbles, if there might be any in there when you first set it down. Always going from the back to the front. And then just like to push it down on the edge a little bit. In a very tip. And then, that's why I like to get this one that's a little um, sharper here. So then just go and... Just kind of tuck it in a little bit. You kind of cutting it off a little bit. Um, just cut, cut, cut anything that's not on the nail. And then, voila. And then you've got that little bit of excess, and you can use that on your toes or just, you know, toss it, whatever you need. And then just making sure that, um, trying to stay in focus here, uh, you know, any little bit that is not actually on your nail, just kind of peel that off. And then this little bit here, you can pinch that off or just kind of tuck it under or can use your nail file and just file file it off like that okay and there you go one is done so then i'm using the other half of the same strip i'm going to do my other pinky so i peel that off and now this is the part so you've got this um silver part and just gently peel that off like that and then go to the other side okay pull it back ah, sorry hit the camera again okay so and just line it up right above your cuticle line and press down and then Again, just press it down a little bit. Now this one's a little bit bigger than my actual nail. So I'll show you what I do with that. 
that you press down all the edges, get out any air bubbles, make sure it's pressed down really good onto the nail. And then again, I just like to kind of bring it over the side a little bit. And then take and just press it in. And you want to make sure that you're doing this gently. Uh, you know, you don't want to rip the strip. Um, just gently press it in. And so this little bit here, that's kind of on my uh, skin here at the edge of my nail, just press that in and just kind of cut that off too. And then here we have it. Make sure it's down good on the nail. Yep. All right. And there we go. Okay. So next again, always like to double check, make sure like, yep, is it going to fit? Yep. Okay. Uh, before I <laughs> start cutting. Um, and I'll show you another thing that you can do. Um, so instead of pre-cutting it, what you can do is take the strip off and just take the whole strip and put it on. And you can see oh, I'm a little off center there. So you can actually gently, very gently, peel it back up and set it back down. Oh, did even worse that time, okay. Now you want to not peel it back up too many times. Okay, there we go. Perfect, all right. And then just press it down. Take your cuticle stick and just press down all the edges. down. All right. Then you just cut it just like you would. Nice and gently and pull. Okay. Then just take that off. And do the other side. Yep, a little there. Looks good. Okay, press it down. I'm so in love with this set. Cannot even. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting it back in the camera. Press down. Okay, and. Trim it off. Gently. 
boom. And again, if you get little, little bits there, kind of press those under, file them off, however you like. Let's go back to this one. And the great thing about this is that my nails are not wet. If, let's say, as I do at the moment, I have to blow my nose in the middle of applying my nails, I can do that. So I will be right back. So yes, blow your nose, pet your cat, um, stop your kids from doing <laughs> whatever kids like to always get into when you're in the middle of something. Um, yeah, like I'm not smudging. I mean, they're on, you know? So you're good. If you've got to like stop in the middle and run and do something, use the bathroom, you know, whatever, take a sip of tea. Hey, let's take a sip of tea. Oh, that's good stuff. Um, yeah, you can do that because your nails dry. Um, one thing about that though is you don't want to leave your open nails out uh for a long time like if you gotta you know stop yeah go use the bathroom go save the kid from you know doing whatever um uh you know you can do that but you don't want to because once you open them they're um like 95 percent dry um 95 97 percent i can never remember um as they're sealed up, once you open them, though, they start to actually dry because it is 100% real nail polish. Um, it's just basically pre-dried for you. So you don't want to, you know, take three hours to put the nails on, right? Because they are actually drying, um, finishing up that little bit uh, as you are um you know, once, they're, once they're open. So do keep that in mind. You don't want to take forever, but if you do need to stop, uh, real quick, do something, take the cookies out of the oven, whatever. Um, you could totally do that. <laughs> Trying to make sure I stay in focus. This is definitely takes some getting used to having I'm trying to do this on, on camera here. And it's like literally like right in front of me. So I have to look around the camera if I actually want to see my hand not through the screen. It's, it's just weird. Okay. Anywho, it's all good. Life skills we're learning here. Okay, press it down. You see how I'm, you know, trying to get down like pushing it down on the side around the cuticle to make sure it's really all stuck to my actual nail not um onto my skin right make sure it's pressed down all along the inside and the edge there There we go. You can put that down there. Okay. And then again, you just gently peel that little part off. And go on to the next one. So you see, it's super easy, super quick. And again, yeah, you blow your nose, let the dog in, whatever. You can stop in the middle and not worry about messing up 
what you've done so far. Or going to bed, I um, will often do my nails uh, at night before bed. And then, you know, I can just go to bed and I don't have to worry about, <laughs> you know, oh, I'm going to smudge them all up and squish them and, uh, uh, you know, get all these crazy imprints on my nails as they're not completely dry before I actually went to bed, which is, oh my goodness, I can't tell you how many times I've done that. So color street, no problem. Put them on, hop in bed and wake up with beautiful nails. Or in the case of like I'm doing today, I've got about an hour in between meetings and I wanted to do my nails today. So I was like, you know what? I can do that because it takes no time and I can just put them on real quick and get back to meetings. So there we go. Look at that. Only two more. I don't know about you, but, you know, I mentioned how, you know, it just makes me feel good to have my nails done. Like, even without polish, just having them filed and, and everything, um, feeling and looking healthy, you know, um, just makes me feel good. But having my nails like done, done, like polish and everything just like, and I could care less if, you know, I'm not doing it for anybody else, right? You know, this, it makes me feel good to have my nails done. Even when like, I'm just having one of those days where, <laughs> you know, I haven't done anything else, you know, to, to kind of pamper myself, if you will. Um, you know, maybe I'm staying in my PJs all day. I'm not doing my hair or makeup or anything like that. Um, I still look put together, right? Cause I've got my nails done and it just makes me happy. It makes me happy to look down and see them all pretty regardless of whatever else is going on in the day. Or not going on in the day. And that's just kind of how I do my, um, you know, my self-care and pampering things. Like I do it for me. I don't do it because I'm trying to, you know, show off or impress anybody. It's like if I put on makeup today, it's because I want to put on makeup today. It's not because I feel like I have to, right? I should never do anything because we feel like we have to as far as, um, you know, primping and, and all that kind of stuff. So I think I like makeup. I like putting makeup on. I like having nice nails. I do it for me. Make sure again that it's right above the cuticle. And now this one, see, I got it off sooner a little bit. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to knock this camera over sooner or later. So readjust just a smidge. Good on that side. And okay, so this is just a smidgen small. So I'm just going to actually take it, get back in the camera, Take it and just stretch it just the tiniest little bit. You can, it has just a little bit of give. You can stretch. See, perfect. So don't stretch too much because then it's going to rip the strip, right? But it does have just a little bit um, of leeway uh, that you can, you can just pull it just very gently. Um, just a little bit, but you can do it. Get a little bit of a more precise fit if you need. Like obviously most of them have fit just beautifully, um, just as they are, but everybody's nails are shaped differently, right? Um, they've got great uh, variety in their strips, you know, shapes and sizes, but um, Still, you know, everybody's unique. Um, so I love that 
I can adjust a little bit, especially with my thumbs, because like I said, I have big thumbnails. Um, so it can be a little tricky with that. Uh, so again, and what you can do, and I'll show you too, is instead of cutting it, you can file it off. And then just kind of pull. For some reason, I'm not the biggest fan of doing it this way. This is, um, you know, a lot of people do this actually, um, how um, basic color street instructions say to do it. Um, for some reason, it's just not how I typically do it. I don't know why. I think when I was first showed how to <laughs> put on Color Street, um, it was the other way, just kind of you know, using the cuticle stick to cut. But then I will usually go back and file the edges down just to get like, because I'm a perfectionist. I like them to be perfect. So I'll usually go back and file uh, the edges just to make sure it's all like nice and perfect, right? So then last ones, okay. And it also, I think makes it easier if you're doing it, if you're splitting the strip between your two nails, um, uh, it's easier to, you know, kind of cut at least for the first half, right? Um, and this one, again, I know that my nails, my thumbs are a little bigger. So before I even put it on, I'm just gonna take it and just stretch just the tiniest little bit, very gently. I don't want to rip it. And then place it on. Just a tiny little bit there. Perfect. Okay. And I even got it over a little bit right there. So I'll take that off. And the more that you do this, the faster that you'll get. Um, the first time I used Color Street, did, did my whole um, manicure, uh, it took me a little bit. You know, I had to figure out what sizes worked for what fingers. Um, so you give yourself a little extra time as you're getting used to them. But, um, now, like it takes me again a little, a little bit extra time when I'm doing this uh, on the video, but I can do my whole mani pedi uh, thirty minutes, um, and then I don't have to, you know, again wait for my nails to dry. I'm ready to go, like thirty minutes, and I am ready to go. There we go. A little bit there, take that off. I'm gonna just pull that just a smidge. Sorry, I guess you could see that, but you know, stretching it just just a smidge over on the side. And push it down. Let's see, now I got it just a little too close for comfort on my 
cuticle line. So what I do is I just take my cuticle pusher here and gently just push my cuticle. Now it's not, the strip's not actually on my cuticle, so I can do this. Just push it back just a little bit more just to get a little extra room. So in love with this set, I just like for real. I've been wanting to do this set for a couple weeks and finally like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Do it, Vlad reputation, baby. So adorable. And yes, I will be doing this on my toes as well. So there you go. Again, I'll go back and um, file, usually like at the end of the day or like I said, if I do it at night, um, I'll go back um, in the morning and just file the edges just to make sure they're just pristine because that's how I am. Um, but that's it. There we go. And with since I used one strip, so that was just one strip. You get two strips in the pack. Just one strip, and I did my whole mani, right? Both sides, because my nails are short. So I'm going to use the other strip to do my pedicure. So I hope this was helpful. Um, you know, if you have any questions, please uh, drop me a line, totally ask. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time.